everyone, I'm Mitchell Ryan Darcy, and if you are watching this video, that means I have crossed 200 subscriber mark. Thank you very much for everyone who has subscribed to my channel. Uh, it really means a lot to me, and uh, I'm just happy someone out there is actually somewhat enjoying the content I'm making. For 200 subscribers, um, I have decided on doing a room slash setup tour uh unfortunately the room or the house i'm currently living in is a rental and it's been like that for the last four four and a half years um so it's we haven't really from where we moved we haven't really unpacked a lot of things and the stuff that we did unpack we tried not setting up properly because we we were like What's the point of setting it up if we're just going to, this is only a temporary place and then we're going to plan the move later on? Well, we've decided to move. Yeah, this September we're basically moving and it's the farthest we've ever uh, moved house location wise. So um, that's going to be a bit of a travel and we are still in Ontario and we are still in Canada. So it's, it's not like <laughs> moving across I mean, in a sense, we're moving across the uh, province, uh, but not not the country. We're not moving across country or to another country, so it's not that huge of a move, but for us, it's pretty big. Um, so if you're seeing a lot of videos that I could have very easily pushed out at any other time um, during the month of August and September, it means uh, I'm currently packing and moving, and so I film those videos in advance, um, so something is appearing on my channel. Yeah, so I am sorry for any sort of dip in quality or quantity or um, not working or getting work done on the videos that I said at the beginning of the year that I'm definitely going to finish this year. Let's talk about this Ruby Volume 4. Um, I'm absolutely gonna get that done by the end of the year the 100 subscriber uh blu-ray collection video that one may or may not make it in time for this year but i am definitely pushing to get it done this year anyways uh i'm gonna start off with my bedroom and uh <laughs> just to let you know um uh, yes i'm very messy i'm the kind of person where it's like like my school desk at school on top it looked clean but like everything that was in the desk was an absolute mess but i myself knew where everything is like i knew where to get an eraser where my pencils were even though it was a complete mess i knew which papers were which and so that's kind of the chaotic chaotic <laughs> chaos clean that i've sort of systematically have have like like to you it's going to look like a big huge mess uh what you're about to see in this video but for me i know where everything is and i can very easily get to the stuff so for me it's organized enough <laughs> obviously it could be improved but but yeah, I hope in the new place to get everything sorted out, my computer and uh, um, my cord management, which you will see later on in this video, that will all be... I. The main reason I love sort of doing this video is I get to see what it was at this point in time, and then in the future, I will hope hopefully improve my organization and cleanliness so much that when I go back to this video it will be like wow I improved so much and that's what I kind of like about my YouTube channel is just seeing my older videos and being like wow I have improved so much and it's a, it's kind of a self-confidence booster in a sense so anyways before I ramble on too long uh, let's jump into it this is my bedroom this is my bed. <laughs> it's um, very messy. <laughs> well, actually, this is, this is probably the cleanest thing that you'll see in this video. Uh, I've used this bedroom location as a change of pace from my basement uh, working area for a couple videos. I think I did a couple unboxing videos and stuff up here. It's just because I have the room to unbox something on this bed <laughs> compared to elsewhere. So let me take you around. So in this corner, you got a whole bunch of Guitar Hero and uh, uh, 
rock band guitars and stuff, mainly Guitar Hero. Um, I was a big fan of the music video games, uh, so you'll see a lot of that stuff in this video. Uh, over here you got my shaku drawer, uh, picture frame which is not even mine, that's my dad's. Um, I'm just holding on to him for, for now because, you know, uh, temporary house. This is uh, a bunch of random stuff, a lot of my glasses cases I, I put up there. <laughs> you got a fake Oscar back there that I got from Niagara Falls. You got E.T., a very old ceramic statue of the uh, Frankenstein guy. And then uh, there's a soccer trophy I got a long time ago. I think that was for participation. Um, <laughs> got a snow globe of the Twin Towers, which I got on a garage sale for like a dollar, and I thought it looked really nice. And then uh, uh, SpongeBob, the best day ever uh, snow globe. I guess I can get closer, I guess I can actually see the dust on this. Best day ever. Um, my Aunt Ellen got that for me. Um, and then there's vault Tech bobblehead from the Fallout Free Collector's Edition. <laughs> Scream Shout Factory posters. I have no idea what I'm going to do with all these. I'm trying to... Because I, I, only, I only bought them for the movie. I can't help it comes with a free poster. So it's like I'm trying to sell those off. Uh, this is my collection of CDs. This is only part of it. Um, <laughs> I got a lot. There's some VHS down there. Yeah, this this place is an absolute mess. Got some Overwatch uh, Funko Pops. My cousin got this for me for uh, uh, from when he went to the Philippines. Uh, I got this when I went to Jamaica recently. It's a piggy bank. That's a turtle. I like turtles. You'll notice that as a theme. Um, I've had this ever since I was a little kid. I love this little uh, switch thing. Uh, this is a ruby poster. Um, I don't know if you notice in general, but I didn't really hang up any posters in my room. Uh, the only reason this poster I decided to hung it up is because my cousin got this for me for my birthday a year or two ago. Um, but it didn't really arrive until later on, and by the time it arrived, it was actually very destroyed. It used to be a, like a wall scroll type thing, but it arrived broken. And so he, <laughs> he, every time I came over to his house or anytime he came over, he would forget about bringing it uh, to give it to me as a belated gift. But then uh, <laughs> he uh, finally gave it to me, and I was like, okay, I'll, I guess I'll... Uh, it doesn't look that bad especially from a distance uh, but up close you can kind of see how sort of creased and destroyed it was um, and then um, this is obviously not a I don't think this is not a this is not official Rooster Teeth uh, <laughs> merchandise uh, on them but from from a distance it, it's a it's a pretty it's the biggest poster I currently have and it's it's <laughs> looks fine from a distance so I, I just decided to just put it against the wall for now have no really anywhere else to put it um, as you can see from my room I try to have no electronics whatsoever um, this is all the DVDs which used to have been on my blu-ray shelf but I ran out of room so I had to put them elsewhere so I just piled them all onto this table um, this is a desk that I used at my previous living place apartment but it's uh, Mm, haven't really used it since. That's usually where I would have my laptop and whatnot, but uh, I'm gonna definitely get rid of this when we move. Um, I'm basically using my room as a storage room, as you can see. Uh, Magic Gathering. Here's a whole bunch of turtles I've collected of various things. This one's like a watch. I thought that was very, very cool. I like turtles. Um, this is the only Blu-ray set that I couldn't fit downstairs because the box is so huge. It's just, it's not the cases themselves, it's just the, the box, gift set box, which is huge. Closet, messy closet. These are all my work shirts. Uh, and then, uh, yeah, mess, mess, mess. Uh, I'm a big fan of 3D puzzles. I have a large collection of them scattered everywhere. Um, pop figures. I keep the original box for everything. That's just me. I do my best to keep the box. It's just, I, I like the idea that it's like if I want to sell it or if I want to um, 
move it's like it's very easy to put the statues in the boxes and then ship them you know that sort of thing so but I will say I think I've gone a little overboard on the Funko Pops um, <laughs> I was only gonna get a couple and then I end up with this um, yeah as you can see I was originally gonna do an unboxing video for Overwatch Monopoly and I, I never got around to doing it it's still in the original wrapper I was gonna do an unboxing video because I got the Kickstarter for the Ruby uh, board game thing that they had um, and I have it it's just I haven't unboxed or anything this is my main closet so there's two closets in my room which is pretty cool up there is the that's the mirage uh magic the gathering box still sealed um but yeah i don't think i'm ever gonna open that there's the funko pop for fallout the uh century century robot but yeah that's my that's my sort of my closet i guess <laughs> Now you can see the other side of this table. Look how messy it is. Oh my gosh, I've got DVDs everywhere. Uh, got a, little, a whole bunch of collection of stuffed animals I've had since I was young. Um, I used to have a teeny baby collection. The T.Y. Beanie Baby collection or whatever. I call them teeny babies. <laughs> Can't remember if that's the actual name or that. But yeah, so that's that's my room. But yeah, I, I generally keep no electronics in my room just because when you're sleeping, it's very hard to sleep when you have electronics hooked up, even if they're turned off, like computers uh, or anything like that. The only electronic I generally have in this room is my iPod Classic, which I've had with me for like uh, since like 2000, like eight or nine or whatever, and it's like so old, and I, I just wish they didn't stop making these. Um, if I knew they were going to stop making these, I would have picked up the, the one with the more megabytes memory. Uh, but I use that as my alarm. Um, I'll show you my headphones when I go downstairs. Um, this is sort of my little shaku thing I got. I recently got some Thunderbird, um, uh, books and that. I have a lot of books. I'm going to do a book, um, uh, my collection of books when I move into the new house. Uh, next year, <laughs> next year I will probably do that. But yeah, I also got some comics and stuff that I collect, uh, Mondo book that I got and whatnot. But yeah, it's I'm just using it as storage for now. And then when I actually move into the place, I'll actually get down to sorting it out, and hopefully it'll look a lot better than this. Oh, there's my cat. Yeah, there's my there's my TV here 85 inches uh, I'll do a better setup tour when we're uh, settled down in the new house and then over here in the basement we got my the other cat Oreo what is it what you bit you Oh, you're not really little, you're huge. <laughs> you're a big cat, you're Garfield. You're female Garfield, that's what you are. Yeah, 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 You wanna play with me? You wanna play with me? Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. you can grab me. And over here we got the messy basement. I warned you. Uh, this is uh, my main workroom. <laughs> and uh, starting off with the door, we got uh, a poster of the Cornetto Trilogy promo that they had in, uh, I think this was from the UK. Yeah, I don't recognize any of those cinemas. Sorry about the high ISO, it's just, uh, there's not a lot of light down here. I literally got this light here, and then there's a light in the corner for uh, my Blu-rays, and uh, I used to have a third light, but it broke. <laughs> 
so I've been using this light here as the main light. There's my emergency pandemic mask in case I forget my uh, the one that I'm actually using. And then uh, yeah, you got some John Carpenter Screen Factory poster and uh, a Ruby Volume Free theatrical poster that they gave out when they uh, had a special event screening of the third volume in theaters. And then, uh, yeah, look at this crap. Uh, <laughs> you got drum set, the Ion drum set for Rock Band, uh, Rock Band guitars. Uh, you got the uh, Blues Brothers poster I got from I think I think from Niagara Falls, and then uh, there's these two posters: the 2001 Space Oddity poster and uh, the Indiana Jones: The Third Crusade poster. They've been put off to the side uh, ever since I put up the green screen over there, and ever since I put up the green screen, uh, they've been sitting over there and you can tell from the dust <laughs> acoustic guitar I got for like like 20 bucks uh, only re real reason I got it is because there was a somebody drew Blues Brothers and marker on it and uh, every time you play that guitar it actually uh, feels like the guitar is about to burst into uh, broken pieces <laughs> it creaks like it's an, about to fall apart so uh, over here is my uh, this is my garbage to my room. I know, great great start to uh, my basement tour. Uh, got a foam sword, and then here's my my fishy hat. Love it. I don't think I've used it for any videos. I should. Anyways, uh, this is my guitar holder, which I'm. Um, also using to hold my garbage bag, but I also have my bag for my receipts on the other side for mm, things I buy. And then, uh, yeah, so this is a Barracuda solid guitar. Um, you may remember it from the 2012 A Wild Abandon Odyssey live performance that I did thing. <laughs> Whatever the hell you would call that performance. And then on the other side, you got my bass, bass for the that I was challenging against uh, David Davy Five Hundred Four for him to do the uh, Scott Pilgrim vs. the World bass battle by himself, but uh, he never really did that. Poster holder. There's a Guitar Hero Live guitar. Uh, this is my Nintendo sixty four holder, and uh, it's full. That's why there's Nintendo sixty four games on top. Uh, so unfortunately, uh, of course I put none of the, the good games on top or games I thought were not really working as well. Put that on top, uh, so. And then, uh, yeah, there's my two systems hooked up to this big, this is like a 90s TV. This thing is, this thing is thick. Look at that. It's like big. Not screen wise. I mean, the screen is pretty big, but it's friggin' thick. And uh, the quality is absolute shit. You can see my reflection. Hey, y'all! Anyways, um, yeah, so as you can see, I haven't really used these in years, so they uh, have a lot of dust on them. I have to clean that up. Uh, but they're both hooked up to this TV because this is the only TV in the house that has the plugs that can actually play. Uh, these games I'm gonna have when I get because there's when we're moving I'm not gonna be taking this TV up the stairs because it's we joked when we got this TV into the basement that the only way this ta TV is leaving is in pieces um, and we're gonna probably stay true to that <laughs> um, I'm using the top of the TV as a bit of a storage thing uh, a couple of the blu-rays that don't really fit like the Lawrence of Arabia and uh, Metallica for the Never and uh, my favorite album of all time Court of the Crimson King by King Crimson um, Game, Night Trap and uh, the Feast collection from Arrow uh, here's a VHS special edition that I've never seen for Snow White and the Seven Drawers Drawers 
I don't really have enough VHS to do a collection video on VHS, so at some point I'll, I'll show this off, but I've never really seen of anything like it or a VHS special edition that, that's big before. A um, couple other miscellaneous stuff up here. Mostly stuff I'm like, I don't know where to put that, and so I just put it there. Um, empty box of Modern Masters because I bought a couple boosters and it was the last one of the pack and so they gave me the thing and that's when Mounter Masters came out so the prices have definitely have gone up since uh, or down I'm not sure haven't been keeping in touch with Magic the Gathering some uh, Pathfinder books we were playing Pathfinder games so I was buying little items that I could maybe use as a, a character possibly um, a couple I've made myself using a printout of Blake from Ruby as a character. And then when you flip it over, it's the back, so I kind of did that myself. Now for this side of the room, you got the You Need to Believe in Yourself poster, which I love, but I, I think I'm probably going to get rid of it. Um, then over by the light switch, you got... Uh, from the short film I worked on, Manscape uh, sticker, I just sort of stuck it there. Uh, and then he also got a fortune cookie that I really liked that I got, which was uh, focus on your long-term uh, goal. <laughs> and then uh, for some reason I found a butterfly sticker, so I just stuck it there. Why not? And then uh, over here you got the Scott Pilgrim vs. the World um, autographed wood poster. Um, don't know if you can see. Uh, it's signed by Edgar Wright, uh, Brian O'Malley, the creator of the original uh, graphic novel comic, and uh, Ellen Wong, who plays Knives Chow in the film. And it's... Uh, this wooden poster was current was hanging up in the HMV in downtown Toronto, but then when they uh, went out of business, they sold off everything inside. So I, I picked up this last sort of memorabilia from HMV, a store I loved, and an Army of uh, Darkness poster. You can actually see more of when I got this from the the video where uh, where I did the HMV closing sale haul. Uh, here is a very messy table. Uh, got some books there I picked up. Uh, not really recent, but <laughs> it was recent when I did pick those up. Makes sense. Um, yeah, it's an absolute mess. I, I, I'm going to definitely be <laughs> organizing things a lot better. This is my camera bag. I'll go over my camera specs soon. Speaking of cameras, camera I've been using for my uh, uh, Let's Plays or any sort of, uh, it's very easy to film with this camera, Sony Handycam HD, still has the stickers on it, wide angle lens, 16 gigabytes built into it, uh, as well as options for memory sticks or memory uh, cards, uh, touch screen, has the uh, projector, built-in projector, so you can show off the footage. Um, this is a great camera. This is the camera I filmed Undercover Poker with, and uh, several of my early, early videos. There's the green screen that I used in uh, my fan casting Overwatch the movie of... Uh, who I decided would make a great cast if Overwatch was becoming a movie, I would recommend checking out part one and part two. The green screen is actually just a uh, craft, I got this from the craft store, Michael's uh, Arts and Craft Store. It's basically uh, not a poster, but it's like a, almost like wallpaper in a large, it came in a tube. I have the tube, uh, at the bottom, which I actually should have did the other way. I should have had the tube going along the top and pull it down sort of thing. But I uh, got this for like, you know, uh, very cheap. And then I bought these little hanger things and then just clipped it to the top. So it's it's a very cheap 
green screen. Basically, this this was under sixty bucks <laughs> in total for, and that's that's the budget filmmaking right there, you know. And then uh, the table here, which I also really I only set up for the uh, the little alcohol gag at the beginning of the second uh, uh, Overwatch movie casting that I did, um, but I haven't really put the table away since. Um, so I just started using it for stuff. Um, there's the Inception shooting script, which I used as a reference as well for my uh, spoiling Tenet video. And uh, I was going to try and read through the entire Prestige novel um, just to see what's different. Um, but I never got around to doing that. And given my one month time frame, I still fell behind a bit so uh, I was able to do that but someday I will read this book um, and then uh, oh yeah so the tripod for my camera is a crappy less than ten dollar tripod I found in a value village um, very squeaky very jarring if you try to use it as like a moving um, shot but it's it's very uh, <laughs> it, it's useful for when I need an extra tripod. Uh, this is the main tripod I've been using. Um, forget <laughs> what it is name-wise or company or whatnot, but it's uh, it's a decent tripod and it does what I need it to do. So, And then over by the window is the Sucker Punch uh, poster, which is awesome. And then uh, there's my Hollywood production board, which I've started using a lot for recording when I'm recording using a separate audio. Because the audio for this camera is not really, uh, well, the built-in mic for these cameras suck. And the shotgun mic that I bought for this is a very cheap one. Um, maybe I'll upgrade to a better one in the future. But it, 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 it's decent audio for what it is. Um, but yeah, I've been using this to sync up the sound. That's why any of the sitting down stuff I've been doing and re just watch reviews, I've been going this step further and doing this to make my audio, audio better. We've got some figures from, uh, so this is from Uncharted Free, uh, Drake's Deception, uh, Special Edition. Uh, and then there's Spider-Man. This is from the Blu-ray for the uh, gift set for uh, The Amazing Spider-Man with Andrew Garfield. Um, then you got Uncharted. I forget if this was from the first or the second special edition. I think this is from the first, Unch or not Uncharted. Infamous, my gosh. <laughs> and so then the while, and then you got the pop figure from The Incredibles. You got the Underminer and Frozone, my favorite characters. Um, and then you got the uh, Ghost Rider, my favorite Marvel character, pop figure. And then uh, there's the other one for the gift set for the Amazing Spider-Man. And then there's, uh, sitting in the corner here, you got the, uh, the Mad Magazine, which I framed along with the uh, Once Upon a Time in Hollywood uh magazine which came with uh, which I got for free at by going to see the movie opening day or was it opening day I'm not sure it was it must have been opening day anyways and because uh, I also got this poster little neat little movie poster thing this one I haven't really been using the frame as an actual movie poster I just sort of just stuck whatever on the outside um, obviously that's going to change when I move to the new house Magic the Gathering gift set uh, from that unboxing video I did. Uh, Rivals of Ixlon, Fat Pack, the outside. Here is the little newspaper article I've kept of uh, my friend Daniel Turris from film school um, who starred in my Any and All Alcohol uh, short film doing art of uh, characters from movies and TV shows and comics and uh, he does a really nice art style and uh, it's uh, pop, pop fiction is the uh, is the names go search them up and uh, buy some of his art 
And uh, this is from the Cineplex magazine of November uh, 2018. He got uh, referenced. Here is John Carpenter's Halloween, a um, little lithograph thing, uh, signed by John Carpenter. Uh, I got that when I went to see John Carpenter's uh, performance uh, concert that he did, which was awesome. He came to Toronto. Then here's a Pulp Fiction poster that I thought was very unique. Um, I'm not sure if it's Japanese or Korean or Chinese, but uh, it I just it reminds me of just how diff drastically different the marketing is, uh, depending on what country the uh, movie is being you know advertised in, and I just thought it was very neat. And here's my Adventure Time poster. Sorry about the glare and reflection. And then over here you got uh, Doctor Strange little uh, hologram thing that came with the Blu-ray. And then uh, you got my Doomsday invocation that I got from one of the Magic the Gathering uh, sets. Uh, check out that unboxing video. I got it in the gift set for Magic the Gathering, which I couldn't believe because that was incredibly rare if you know Magic the Gathering. And then over here, you've got my computer set up. This is where I do all my editing and stuff. If you remember, this desk setup used to have been actually in this corner, and I had that going for a bit, but then I decided to change over here when I started recording Let's Plays because I needed it close to my uh, gaming area. Here's John Carpenter's posters that I've hung up. I have a couple that I haven't hung up yet. Uh, I was just sort of waiting so I was just playing it temporary. I have to fix this one fell down on the inside and so did uh, Escape from New York. But everything else seems to be holding in there pretty good. So let me turn on the light over here. Over here is my Blu-ray collection. Oh, look how amazing it is. Anyways, so this is my very messy, messy, uh, look at that cable management. You're probably going to be screaming if you have, uh, if you really like organization and you see this mess. PlayStation 3, uh, the white one, weird shape, the PlayStation 3 Slim, I believe, and then... I used to have the PlayStation 3, the original, but it got the yellow light of depth, and so upstairs I've had it <laughs> in its original box, because I always keep the original box for everything, um, and it's it's been there ever since, and I've been trying to figure out a way to fix that, but I never really got around to fixing that, so uh, then you got my PlayStation 4, my main one here. Um, and then another PlayStation 4, which I didn't really want to get, but uh, somebody was selling on Kijiji for very cheap, and it was uh, the one terabyte PlayStation 4. That's the only reason why I got it, is for more memory. Because I find with consoles, if I didn't have a lack of memory, I wouldn't have any need to buy another console. That, and I can just start deleting data, but I'm really, like, I don't want to delete data. I'm, I'm that kind of person. So I end up with more consoles than I need. There's two more Magic the Gathering sets down there. Um, here's all the drumsticks I collected over the years just from just from uh, playing games. And uh, I think a couple were not from games, but I, I used anyways. <laughs> but that's a lot of drumsticks. So you can tell I have uh, bought a lot of drum sets for the uh, rock band series. That's the Elgato capture card. I use that to record. Um, this is the HD 60S that I got and I've been using that to record my uh, gameplay footage and sometimes footage of other things. Power source, all that. There's actually, for this room, there's no power source. Like, so there's one plug. There's another plug over here, and then there's, I think, another plug behind the TV, and then there's nothing on this side of the wall, and nothing over here. So I had to have my friend 
hooked when he built my friend built me this Blu-ray shelf, and when I uh, he decided to hook up a power source here so I can easily turn on and off the light, but at the same time he ran a cable around and down so I can have power over here. So here's my calendar uh, for this year. I chose drinking. And I think overall, I wasn't really happy with it at first, but then I was like, um, as the year progressed, I'm like, yeah, no, it's very appropriate <laughs> with the way things have been going. Um, so here's my sort of video game, PlayStation 4, PlayStation 3, well, not really PlayStation 3, but it's more, here's PlayStation 4. I don't really have a lot of games, as you can see. This is all my music music video games that I've gotten starting off with you know the original Guitar Hero 2, 3, Uncle Rock the 80's Aerosmith, Metallica, that's Guitar Hero and then um, then Rock Band all the way up to what I have and uh, basically got the track packs for DLC I got a lot of DLC for Rock Band that's the main reason why I had to pick up another PlayStation 4 is because I'm just running out of data for the the amount of DLC I have for Rock Band. That's the uh, John Carpenter VIP uh, that I got from going to his concert. Uh, there's another Manscaped poster I got for free. I just hanged it up for no reason. <laughs> and then, uh, yeah, Blu-rays don't want to show too much because I'm going to be doing my Blu-ray collection video soon. Hopefully by the end of the year it will be out as my final of my 100 subscriber video special. If not, check out my other 100, uh, 100 subscriber specials which is, uh, oh yeah, first one was a blooper reel that I did for all my older stuff and then uh, I think, yeah, I showed the two old videos from Facebook I did. Uh, something nothing really special, but it's unique, so I felt it's unique enough for 100 subscriber special. Uh, this is the from Watch Dogs special edition, which I got for like, you know, under 30 bucks uh, with the game and everything, and uh, pop figure of Metallica and Justice for All album. Then there's another pop figure, Little Shop of Horrors. Uh, <laughs> There's my Overwatch, my free mains, and then uh, uh, Alfred Hitchcock and J.J. Abrams. Some of my favorite filmmakers ever. Just to note, J.J. Abrams is not my favorite director. He's my favorite filmmaker in a sense of uh, producing and um, the projects he's made. Mainly Alias and Lost is the reason why I'm a fan of his work. Uh, Alcatraz I also loved, and uh, I, I really need to check out the... Uh, uh, Stephen King miniseries that he's done um, and then uh, Magic the Gathering Japanese I think uh, version of the Chandra versus uh, Jace uh, set um, with the anime style art I just decided to not open that at all and then you know more pop figures I only said I was gonna get a couple but then I ended up getting so many <laughs> there's a uh, if you recognize uh, Davy Jones from Pirates of the Caribbean uh, 2 and 3, and then there's uh, Weird Al, uh, Elton John, uh, and then in the back you got Eggman. Um, Sombra used to have been here, but Sombra accidentally took a terrible fall. <laughs> she just very slowly started leaning over, and then she just fell on her own, so her stand kind of broke, so I had to put her back in the box. Um, then you got... Uh, Sombra from Overwatch, uh, and then you got uh, Jeff Goldblum from Jurassic Park, and then you got the alternate skin for Orisa, and then uh, I think I put which version of Mercy away, yeah, um, just because I sort of ran out of room with my Blu-rays, and also uh, somebody rented a lot of my Blu-rays because <laughs> of the pandemic, so from the family from within the family so uh, that's why I got a lot of spaces missing you got these two stands here uh, of uh, games which I used to have in the corner here but then I started to use this angle as a record so because it's a kind of a nice background 
in a sense so I had to move them out of the way and I haven't really moved them back since Jack Nicholson pop figure that my cousin got for me for my birthday and then uh, this Stephen King I found in Barnes and Noble in the States when I went over just before the uh, just before the pandemic actually closed the border actually it was like a week or two before that happened so I lucked out there and then here's a printer that my family member was getting rid of so um, I kept it because I don't really have any sort of printer and it's a black and white printer but you know it helps if I have to print off scripts or something and then a special special limited edition of a movie can you guess what that is? I don't know. It's a big box, but anyways, um, that's my amp that I <laughs> barely use. I think I'm gonna sell it because I really only use the only real reason why I have an actual guitar and bass is for Rocksmith. <laughs> uh, but other than that, I'm not really I'm not really good at, as a musician. If you've heard any of my singing or any of my musical. Uh, based stuff on this channel. I'm not very musically talented. Uh, this is uh, the mic I use to record my when I want the audio to be good um, like uh, Spoiling Tenant. This is the audio I use the blue uh, I think is a Snowball mic? Or no, this is the Yeti microphone. It's the bigger one where the Snowball is the little small one. Um, I got this on sale uh, a long time ago, and I never really used it. I uh, had it for like six years, and I've been slowly starting to use it more and more, and it's it's been pretty good. And then in terms of gameplay, uh, this is the this is the headphones I use. It's uh, it's very cheap. Damn focus. Okay, so Biogenic headphones whatever that is they don't recognize the company I don't recognize the company but um, yeah it's a very cheap pair of headphones I found and uh, they you know the audio isn't amazing playing games with this but um, it's good enough to play the game and that's kind of just all I needed it for yeah this is from the Beatles rock band uh, this was part of the custom drum set that they had I kind of wish that drum set didn't break, um, <laughs> just from normal use, and it just, you know, stopped working, and it just, <laughs> it broke. So, this is all that remains of it, it's, uh, I can hook it up to other rock band drum sets if I get it, and get them. And over here is the TV that I use for video games, um, I've also noticed that, um, it's hard to notice but there's the sides are actually a little bit cut off and I never really realized that until um, I pop in the Elgato and I go to screen record it's actually slightly more shown on my Elgato recording than I actually see when I'm playing off of the screen because I guess the screen goes a little bit into the edge all the way around which is I so weird I've been trying to troubleshoot that but yeah it's haven't really fixed it. I'm gonna probably upgrade this TV eventually but for now it's it's fine so this is my sort of computer setup it's a Mac I'm not sure what it's called but um, yeah, I use this for, for all my editing and stuff. Um, this is my main external, or no, this is my video game external hard drive for all my Let's Plays and recording, because they get a lot of files. And then there's uh, the one in the back, very similar uh, external hard drive. I like it. It's really good. Um, forget the name of it. Show it upon the screen. Um, and then I got my keyboard for my editing for my Mac, which is a cheap keyboard, USB keyboard I found in uh, Value Village. And then this keyboard I got on sale on Amazon for dirt cheap, and I use this for my, my laptop, which is under here. So here's my laptop. It's in the Acer Aspire 5, I think. 
specs there. I'm not really a computer person, so I, I don't really know exactly what's good or not, but I always generally try uh, either lots of memory or, you know, I guess. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so that's my laptop. I usually do most of my, like, scripting or work that's uh, all, like, my screen, any sort of screenplays on this. Uh, my main iTunes is on this with all my CDs um, put onto it. And then also, um, this is what I use for uh, games, where the, the Mac I mainly use just for editing. So, that's sort of my uh, computer setup. Here's my mouse. It's, uh, it's a very cool uh, mouse because it like rests your palm on the mouse itself. And the way it's structured, it's, it's actually quite healthy. And this is the mouse I mainly use because it's it's so <laughs> like it's so comfortable to hold your hand like this uh, for a mouse. Yeah. So as you can see, I here's the original Mac box that used to hold the computer. So I, I like keeping the original box for things, and it's 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 very convenient, especially if you go to move. Uh, this little sound speaker thing on the side. I am currently using that just for, you know, for my laptop, so the audio is slightly better, even though the audio is off to the side here. Uh, ignore this mess of drum sets and stuff. Uh, <laughs> uh, then you got over here is a whole bunch of vinyl records. If you want me to show off my vinyl record collection, let me know in the comments below, because um, I'll, I'll probably eventually do that as a video, but uh, don't really <laughs> have a drive to do it right now. Uh, my schedule is very busy for the <laughs> rest of the year, uh, filming-wise, and that's not even including the move. Over here you got uh, my chair, my gaming chair, my uh, editing chair, yeah, it's uh, my stepfather had it and he wasn't really using it, so he's like, hey, you might as well use it, so it's uh, a nice chair, apparently it's a old, very older, uh, has a heat option massage or whatever but um i don't think it works i've never really tried it um i don't know if <laughs> i even have the attachments to plug it in to do that but apparently it does that uh, on my chair is uh, my mercy sweater i got from uh, the overwatch or blizzard store uh, very light sweater but i like it um I gotta really stop buying sweaters because, you know, even though I'm in Canada and it's uh, very cold up here in the winters, it's the summers are also hot, so it's like most of the time I don't really choose to wear a sweater. Um, but yeah, so that is uh, sort of a little brief overview of my, uh, my uh, basement <laughs> dungeon room, I guess you could say. So the camera I'm currently using, I can't really, I'm going to have to film with my phone or something to get footage of the camera itself, but um, it is a Canon EOS um, 70D um, Canon, and the lens I'm currently using is a 18 55 millimeter one. Uh, when I bought the camera, it came with two lenses. That was one of the ones that came with. The other one it came with, I might as well um, just show it. It's a... Uh, it's a little bit longer lens, uh, 55 to 250 millimeter, or not millimeter. Is it millimeter? Yeah, I think it's millimeter. <laughs> Once again, I'm not really tech savvy when it comes to cameras and all that, uh, but I, I figured having a camera like this is kind of good practice to try and figure out how to film the best videos ever, you know. Um, I also have... Uh, Oh, I forget the name of these, but these uh, allow you to extend the lens to uh, make you uh, shoot like uh, macro, very small, up close, fine details. I bought this specifically for a video that I was going to do in Toronto Film School for a project, but uh, um, I used it a, a, a bit, but it... Uh, Unfortunately, it was an unfinished video, and I, I couldn't finish it in time, and I never really 
decide to finish it. It was just a little too much. Uh, the main thing that was stopping me from uh, filming it is the green screen portion of it. Uh, uh, but uh, if I can figure out how to do that, I might be able to re finish it. But um, I wouldn't. I wouldn't hold <laughs> your breath uh, if you are waiting for that video. This is a external hard drive that I recently picked up. Uh, this little thing is great. I can hook up to my Mac or my computer and then I can uh, um, using special wires and all that and um, make MKV uh, I'm able to uh, if I need footage from a movie or whatever uh, that I can't really find online I can um, <laughs> very easily uh, get access to that footage using that and the program and uh, for example I used it recently in the the Shining trailer in the style of uh, bombshell trailer um, so I would recommend checking that video out because it's a I think I did a really good job with that video and then here are my good headphones not used for gaming or anything but more editing or listening to music it's uh, Bose uh, something sound headphones uh, my old ones unfortunately warranty was up so was just about to go up so I had to replace them but when I went to go to the shop to replace them they actually said they uh, don't <laughs> that mo model's been discontinued so they had to upgrade me to better ones um, and I only had to pay like an extra like 50 bucks or so and so but other than that it was uh it was awesome i was able to do that because now i have these ones which are really really good and uh, i use these as the alarm clock upstairs for the sound for my ipod <laughs> so anyways that ends my room tour video thank you very much for watching i want you to have a nice day or night or whatever time you watch this have a nice whatever uh thank you very much to all the people who have subscribed to my channel it really means a lot that you subscribe to me and you actually kind of like the content i'm doing enough to subscribe so thank you very much for the first 200 and uh the many more that may come later on who knows because, I mean, that's the way the world is. We, 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 we don't know what's going to happen next, but we do the best we can. Thank you very much again for watching.